Hi everyone, it's Agnes and this YouTube is a viewer's question and it's from Andrea today. Now Andrea says, so let's say you're living in the end and you're trying to manifest a specific person. Every time you think of the current situation, you change your thoughts to positive ones. Example, specific person and I have a great relationship. Using the whole everyone as you pushed out theory, and this appears to be working for you, but then you become needy and you realize after a while that you need to work on your self-love. That alone is a good realization. Andrea, do you start the self-love meditations and stop the living in the end thoughts until the self-love is better? Or do you start the self-love the meditations and still every time you think of the current situation, still tell yourself the positive affirmations and still continue your states akin to sleep or your imaginal scenes so okay let's go back through this step by step so if you are as you said having a great relationship using the whole remembering everyone's you pushed out theory and this appears to work but then you become needy and you realize after a while that you need to work on your self-love so as soon as you go into neediness i think you drop whatever you're doing which is about getting anything from anybody okay do your self-love get solid foundation do your affirmations start to feel that good feeling within and then you put that into your imaginal scenes your scripting your whispering technique whatever you want to do you've got a good energy it's like you've got the good petrol in the tank for the car okay or fuel if you come from another country <laughs> so I think it's important for things to be more effective to do them when you've got your self-love on board now Neville didn't talk about doing your self-love before living in the end but in my experience the better I felt the easier my imaginal scenes were to believe and then they would often manifest more quickly so it's not that you have to, but I think it is more, let's say, concentrated effort put to better use and your time put to better use. OK, so you lay the good foundation, self-love, then you do your living in the end scenes, because what I see is people do go into doing living in the end scenes and then they email me and say, oh, this isn't working. It's like, well, your living in the end scene was about you trying to get. Now, if you're trying to get in a living in the end scene and you're not putting any kind of giving into it, then not saying it can't work. I mean, the, the universe doesn't photocopy just the positive things and not the negative, as you know, because you're living it. It is indifferent. It just photocopies what you're doing. But I think if you're doing a living in the end where you're trying to get something from someone, what I see happens is you might attract the person, but then they go out with you and they feel your neediness and then they take off pretty quickly after that because you were able to do the first level like your white belt in karate, but you didn't get to the yellow level because you dropped the ball and you dropped the ball because your self-love was good. And then when you attracted them back, you went back to looking at them as your source of love and then they went and they tried to get away from you. OK, so it's good information. So I think, Andrea, do yourself love, get yourself in a, to a good state. Then you do your imaginal scenes when they regard other people, whether it's a specific person, a boss, getting a job an interview whatever imagine what you would like to feel what you would like to have what you would like to experience and then you let go of it with love and you say thank you i'll take it as done and you let it go so it's not this what else do i have to do because i'm finding many of you are as we're working together whether it's through email coaching or face to face there is this thing of this constant question what else do I need to do? Well, you've got to allow, letting go, surrender, allowing is the other side of the coin. It's the inactive side of the coin. You're releasing 
and allowing God, the universe, source, whatever word you want to use, to bring to you the fully hatched thing. So it's not about doing more. It's about looking at what you're doing and doing it more effectively. Okay. So as I said, Neville did not say you have to be in a self-loving state. He didn't use those words, but what words he did use was you have to try and get yourself into the state. Let go of the old man, hop into the new man and be in the state of I have this. I've got this. I love this. I'm enjoying this. This feels good. But you know what? I've got my self-love today anyway. So when it comes, it'll be a bonus. It won't be the whole cake. It'll just be the cherry on top, you see. Okay. The whole thing is, and Abraham Hicks talks about this in very good terms, I think. It's we want what we want because we think we're going to feel happier in having it. But the shortcut is you just get happy first. And she says that again and again and again. But as human beings, we go, no, I need to get the thing to be happy. And it's the other way around. If you can get happy, the stuff comes and it gets easier and easier. So if you could just put aside everything and go and get happy, go and do things that make you feel good day by day, by segment by segment, as best you can, and eliminate the things you don't like to do bit by bit by bit, that vibe brings you up. That alone helps you manifest. Okay, because I do hear a lot of you say to me, Oh, I'm so exhausted. Do I have to do all these processes? No, go to bed, get some sleep, get yourself into a good place so that you can manifest, you can focus and your focus and your discipline then will be effective. So look at the effectiveness of what you're doing. So very good question, Andrea. That's just my opinion. I do think having trialed this in both directions, just doing the living in the end and then doing living in the end and self-love when you do the two it's more effective get a good grounding with your self-love first then you add the living in the end on top of it once you kind of got the ball rolling with your self-love then things hatch more quickly more easily and you don't need it so much because you just feel good anyway so it's just like yeah the excellent great but you know what i was feeling good anyway but thank you happy to have it so it's more like that. Okay. So hope that answers your question. Lots of love. And I will put the viewers questions playlist down below. And I will also put down below some of Neville's YouTubes because he is still one of my absolute all time favorites. And his work has helped me considerably to manifest the things in my life. I will also put down below for those of you that haven't seen it, that are new to the channel, my personal manifestations playlist down below for those of you to look at. Okay, ciao ciao.